using superposition theorem find the current through rl in figure we have to find current through this rl using superposition theorem solution first we will consider the 6 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources so consider 6 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources so here you can see if we turn off this voltage source then this will be short circuit now according to the polarity of this voltage source the current will flow from positive terminal to negative terminal so let's say this is total current i and this is i l i l prime now we have to find i l prime so by using by using current division rule I L is equal to I L prime is equal to total current that is I into parallel branch resistance that is ten divided by ten plus phi. So first we have to find this total current I. So here we can see this phi ohm. And this ten ohm are in parallel. So five ohm parallel with ten ohm. This will be five into ten divided by five plus ten. Five into ten divided by five plus ten. It is three point three ohm. Now we can replace this. these two resistances with single resistance of 3.3 ohm three 3.3 ohm now we can easily find current i using ohm's law i is equal to v by r V is six volt, and R is seven plus three point three. So this will be six divided by seven plus three point three. It is zero point five eight two. Zero point five. Eight to ampere. So from this we can find the value of I L prime. So I L prime is equal to total current is zero point five eight two into ten divided by ten plus five. So I L prime is equal to zero point Five eight two into ten divided by ten plus five. So it is zero point three eight eight zero point three eight eight ampere. Then we have to find. by considering this 10 volt voltage source and turning off all other sources so this time we will consider 10 volt voltage source consider 10 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources
So if we turn off this voltage source, this will be short circuit. Now according to the polarity of this voltage source, let's assume this is total current I and this is I L double prime. Now again by using by using current division rule by using current division rule I L double prime is equal to total current I into parallel branch resistance the parallel resistance to this 5 ohm is 7 so 7 divided by 7 plus 5 Now again we have to find this total current I Here we can see this 5 ohm and 7 ohm are connected in parallel So 5 ohm parallel with 7 ohm this will be 5 into 7 divided by 5 plus 7 5 into 7 divided by 5 plus 7 it is 2.91 2.916 ohm now we can replace this we can replace these two resistances with single resistor of 2.916 This will be 2.916 ohm. Now we can easily find current I using Ohm's law. V is, I is equal to V by R. V is 10 volt and R is 10 plus 10 plus 2.916. So therefore I is equal to 10 divided by 10 plus 2.916 it is 0 0.774 0 0.774 ampere we have to find I L double prime and I L double prime is I into this value so I is 0 0.774 into 7 divided by 7 plus 5 so therefore I L double prime is equal to 0 0.774 into 7 divided by 7 plus 5 0 0.45 0 0.451 ampere now the direction for this I L double prime is here we can see it is we can say downward so the direction for I L double prime is downward the direction for I L prime is here we can see the direction for I L prime is upward so both the directions are opposite so from this we can find I L I L will be equal to since the directions are opposite, so we will subtract higher current minus lower current. So I L double prime is 0 0.451 and I L prime is 0 0.388. So I L double prime is greater than I L prime. So I L double prime minus I L prime. I L double prime is 0 0.451 minus I L prime is 0 0.388 0 0.388 so therefore I L is equal to 0 0.451 minus 0 0.388 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स थ्री एम पी आर एंड द डायरेक्शन फॉर दिस आई एल विल बी ऑफ आई एल डबल प्राइम बिकॉज इट इज ग्रेटर सो द डायरेक्शन विल बी डाउनवर्ड सो दिस इज द फाइनल एंसर वी हैव टू फाइंड फाइंड द करंट थ्रू आर एल सो वी हैव टू फाइंड करंट थ्रू आर एल यूजिंग सुपर पोजिशन सो द करंट थ्रू दिस फाइव ओम विल बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स थ्री एम पी आर 